afternoon, everyone. I would mentioned in this morning's PLC meeting that I would be showing you how to install the Google Drive application on your computer. You can install this on your computer at home and also on your computer at work. And having it installed will make your life a lot simpler. So to begin with, you're going to find the installation file by downloading it from the internet. I have to go to a web browser. I'm using Google uh, search engine and I'm going to type Google Drive file stream. And you see that there's a hit that comes up. The very first suggestion is deploy Google Drive for desktop. You're going to click on that. You're going to scroll down and select Windows. Uh, unless, of course, you're installing this at home on a Mac. You're going to select Windows and then you can click on the download button and it will download the setup file for Google Drive on your desktop. If you're at home, this could take a while depending on your internet speed. Here I'm at school. It's a 250 megabyte installation file, so it's quite big. Once it's downloaded, click on the file or find it in a folder wherever your download folder is and double click on it to start the installation process. You're going to see this screen. I'm not a big fan of having icons put on my desktop for shortcuts for programs, so I'm going to uncheck these. And then I'm going to click install. And now it says Google Drive successfully installed. And you get this window that appears over it, which says sign in to Google Drive. So what's going on here is that you need to sign in once to this Google Drive application in order to provide it access to your Google Drive file so that you don't have to sign in every time. So it says sign in with browser, and I'll do that. It opens up a browser. Now I have multiple accounts uh, that are Google accounts on this computer, so I'm going to select my WRPS 11 account. And then it's asking for permission. What this is saying is that the desktop application wants to be able to access all of your files in your Google Drive. And since the desktop application is a Google application, um, you can be sure to trust it because Google is just accessing Google in this case. So you can click Allow. You can close your browser now. You can also close the installation file. And then you'll get this little window that opens up and it says Google is, show it to you, Google Drive is loading your files. That's a bit of a lie. Google Drive isn't loading your files. Google Drive, the application on your desktop, is looking at your Google Drive account and it's loading the names of all of the files. It's not actually, this is important I think, it's not actually downloading everything from Google Drive onto your computer. All it's doing is finding the directory of everything. Uh, you can go ahead and close this. This is just an introduction screen. But if you were to go down to the bottom right hand corner and click on this little arrow that shows hidden icons, you'll see this icon and that's your Google Drive icon. And when it was installed, when the Google Drive application was installed, it made settings so that when you start up your computer, it will always start up Google Drive. And the fact that this is lit up means that Google Drive is running. It automatically opened up my Google Drive. I'm just going to close this so that I can walk you through exactly what is going on and where everything is. If I wanted to open a file that was stored on my computer, I would open up a folder and I would navigate to the location of that file. So it might be that it's on the desktop or it might be that it's in uh, an attached drive. But when you open this up in Windows 10 and you look on the left hand side, you're going to see this Google Drive. It's a G drive. And when you click on it, you're going to see two drives within it. One is called Shared Drives and one is called My Drive. Now let me explain what Shared Drives is first. On the P drive, which is the public drive that all employees have access to, are a variety of different district documents and school documents. And everything is going to be migrated away from that P drive and onto a shared Google drive eventually. That shared Google drive can be found by double clicking on this in your folder, shared drives. And you will see a variety of things this WC Teachers is going to take place basically 
with the teachers folder on the P drive. So wherever you went to look at exams that we had in our math department or resources that we had, you're going to find them in here eventually. The timeline on that is I would like to migrate everything over from the P drive into this within the next month, by the end of the school year for sure. So if I were to double click on this, you see in here math department, same idea as you would see in the P drive, you would see math, but now it says math department and this is where everything is going to be. Right now it's empty, but eventually that's where everything will be. Now I'm going to go back to my Google Drive so you can see these two drives. You could always access your shared drives by logging into Google Drive from Google. Let me show that to you. This is confusing. So if I go to my Google account and I go to Google Drive, I have a feeling I'm going to have to switch accounts here. I go to my WRPS 11 account in Google Drive. This is what I see, and this is probably what most of you are familiar with. That shared drive that I'm showing you here on your computer folder system where it says shared drives, that's the exact same thing that you have in the left-hand column here that says shared drives. But rather than having it with this kind of view or setup or structure or interface, what you have instead is this. And if you're used to navigating around in folders and files in Windows, it makes a lot more sense. Now, what about the other drive? Going back to Google Drive, there's this drive that says My Drive. And this is your personal Google Drive in WRPS 11. So I don't know how many of you have things stored there, but I currently have everything stored there. So anything that at work I would access by opening my F drive, I have moved that over into this drive. And the reason I've done that is that if I'm at home and I want to access some of these files that are accessible in the F drive, I don't have a really easy way to get to that. So I moved all of the files in the F drive into Google Drive. Now I'm going to show you how you can do that. When you open up Google Drive on your desktop, you're going to see Shared Drive and My Drive. And basically what you need to do is open up another folder. So I'm going to right click on the folder icon on the bottom of my screen and click File Explorer. I'm opening up another one. And you have to do this from work. I'm going to navigate to the F drive. And this is where all of my stuff is. And what you're going to do is you're going to drag this stuff from the F drive into the My Drive folder in the Google Drive. Now, depending on how much you have, this process could take a while because what it's going to be doing, if I drag, for example, Math 9 over, what it's going to do is upload all of the stuff in the Math 9 folder to the internet where it's going to dump it in My Drive. And if I go to My Drive now, there will be a folder called Math 9, the one that I dragged over. If you take a look at something else that we have here, I have a folder that's uh, 0 Math 20 1 Hetlinger. If I were to open my Google Drive on my desktop and look for that, it's not there because that folder is currently in my F drive. So I would move that over as well by dragging it into my drive. And depending on the size of these folders, this could take a while. I probably wouldn't recommend selecting all of them and dragging them all over at once. If you do that, it could be an hour or two long process. I would do them groups at a time. So if you want to do general stuff, presentation, Wednesday, Math 20, Math 30, and Physics 30, you can drag them over. I'm not quite sure how long this is going to take. It's about 8 gig, and it's looking as though it's probably going to take about 5-10 minutes. Anyway, I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to drag that over. It's already in there someplace else. The bottom line is once you do have everything migrated in 
at home or at work, if you open up a folder and click on Google Drive, you will have all of your materials in that one location. In addition, if you need to access anything that's in the P drive, what used to be the P drive, you would click in Shared Drives and then double click on W Teachers, WC Teachers. I know that that's probably confusing. It certainly was for me the first time I tried to wrap my head around this. But once you have it set up, it's pretty slick. The one thing you do have to remember is that when you open a file from My Drive, you are opening it live. And what that means is any changes you make to it are automatically being synced back to that original file in your Google Drive. So if you want to make changes to a file and then save it as something else, I would recommend opening the file, saving it as something else first, and then making changes to it. Anyway, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions or you need any extra help with this, and I'd be happy to help you set everything up. Have a great weekend, everybody.